So fish is not only good for your brain, but it's also good for your eyes, okay? Why? Because of DHA. Now, not all fish have high levels of DHA. I will explain which ones do, but DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid, and it's used as a primary structural component of the brain and the retina. Now, in the brain, it makes up the synapses, which is basically the connection between the nerve cells. Now, if you're low in DHA, it can affect many, many different things, but the two things that really stand out are a lowered cognitive function. So your memory, your focus, your concentration might be inhibited. Also, not having enough can greatly affect your mood, as in depression. And anytime you see DHA, you're also gonna see the other fact called EPA. DHA is more for the structural part of the brain and the retina, which is an extension of the brain, and EPA works more on the function part. So what foods have the most DHA? Now, per 100 grams, it's caviar. That has 3,400 milligrams per 100 grams. So caviar is number one. Number two, Atlantic mackerel at 1,400 milligrams. And then we have anchovies, 1,292. And then Atlantic salmon, 1,115 milligrams. And then we have herring, which is about 1,105. Chinook salmon, which is 944. Bluefin tuna, 890. Beef brain, right? Your, your favorite at 855 milligrams per 100 gram. Now, if you're a vegan and you don't do this, you can do microalgae. There are cofactors that allow DHA to work in the brain and in the eye. Zinc and iodine. Well, guess what? It just so happens that you're gonna get zinc and iodine when you consume seafood. Now DHA is also needed to make something called rhodopsin. Rhodopsin is a light sensitive protein in the eye, mainly involved with low level light. So let's say for example, you're driving at night and it's hard to see in the dark and it's hard to adjust. You may need DHA or you could also need vitamin A. And as a side note, you also need zinc to allow vitamin A to work as well as DHA. So this is also important. Anyway, thanks for watching and definitely make note of some of these fish so you can start to add more DHA to your diet. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.